Supporting social interactions. Having good relationships contributes to our quality of life. We need to interact with others to make and maintain our relationships. Supporting a person to engage in social interactions is a key aspect of active support. You still have to apply the four essentials. Recognising opportunities for social interactions is an important part of support. There are many opportunities at home, in the community, or using technology. They can be brief encounters, such as prompting a person to say hello when seeing someone they know, or introducing the person when meeting someone new. They can also be longer interactions, such as meeting a friend for lunch, or phoning a family member. The person you support may need assistance to interact with others. The assistance you provide will depend on the person and the situation. How familiar they are with other people, how they communicate and are understood by others, and how they understand the social situation. You have to interpret the situation to provide the right type and amount of assistance. Providing too much assistance can mean you do too much talking, which excludes the person. But providing too little assistance can mean the people interacting don't understand each other and the interaction breaks down. You may need to facilitate the interaction to make it successful. For example, interpreting or repeating what the person says so that others understand what is being communicated. Or rephrasing what others have said so the person you support understands them. You may have to help get the conversation started or to keep it going. Your knowledge of the person and what they've done recently or their interests can help with this. Providing active support in social interactions enables the person you support to be socially included at home and in the community and to make and maintain relationships.